In this video, you will learn about the many African resistances to European rule. Some, such as the Asante, Shona, and Maji Maji, failed, but other countries like Ethiopia stood strong against the Europeans. Also, many women took strong leadership roles. A division was created between Africans who adopted Western culture and those who wanted African traditions. Their revolts shaped Africa and Europe. The Asante. The Asante were a group of people who lived in West Africa. They were colonized by the British in the late 19th century. Their king was exiled in 1896. Their queen, Ya Asantiwa, took control and led a rebellion that lasted from 1900 to 1902. She was captured and exiled in the middle of the war. The Asante lost and Ya Asantiwa died in 1921. The Shona. Another group that revolted against the British was the Shona of Zimbabwe. Nahanda, a spiritual leader, led a resistance against heavy British taxes starting in June 1896. She was tried and convicted of murder near the end of this revolt in 1897 and was executed. The British then crushed the Shona revolt. The Maji Maji Rebellion. The Maji Maji Rebellion was another example of African resistance. Several tribes in East Africa rebelled against Germany because they were forced to grow cotton for German production. Led by spiritual leader Bokero, the rebels destroyed many German outposts. Germany stopped the rebellion by burning thousands of acres of farmland. Thousands died of starvation and the rebellion was crushed. Ethiopia and Menelik II. The only successful rebellion was Ethiopia, and it was able to preserve its independence. Before European influence in Africa, Ethiopia was a Christian country that was divided into several small kingdoms ruled by rival princes. In the late 1800s, Emperor Menelik II modernized Ethiopia by building better roads and bridges. He strengthened the army by hiring European army officers. Italy invaded Ethiopia in 1906. Ethiopia crushed them at the Battle of Adawa and preserved their independence. The African elite. European rule caused a deep split between the African people. A new class emerged called the African elite. They were upper class citizens who supported and followed Western customs. The middle class was divided. Some admired Western ways and rejected their own culture, while others valued their old African traditions. These feelings soon led to nationalist movements in Africa throughout the 1900s. In this video, you have learned about the many African resistances during the time of European imperialism. The Shona and the Asante were both groups of people led by strong women who rebelled against Britain. The Maji Maji Rebellion highlighted Germany's strength over its colonies. Ethiopia was one of the only African countries to maintain its independence because of its modernization and strong army. And lastly, European imperialism caused a rift in the middle class and created a new group of African elites.